ladies, and welcome to our Business Builder and New Consultant Training Call. Today, I am going to be going over a PowerPoint on helping you to get more bookings for the new year in your new business. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do here is share my screen with you, and you guys will be able to see the different slides that I am talking about. And then you will be able to take notes, access the information, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. I just need to hit play. Give me a second. Hold on, ladies. All right, so. The very first thing that we are going to talk about is how to get bookings for your new business and how to get bookings when your calendar is empty. So what we're going to do is go over a bunch of different ideas to help you get more bookings. So there are three rules for booking parties. The first one that you have to remember is that your phone is your cash register. So if you have not gone ahead and filled out 50 guests in five minutes, now is the time to do so. It is a document that you can find on the COO under new consultant training. If you cannot find it, please shoot me a message and I will be happy to share it with you. So you have to pick up the phone, you have to ask for bookings. You can try to message people and text them via Facebook, um, but generally, in my opinion, that doesn't work so well. Um, the phone is the best way to reach out to people and let them know about your new business. You will also find a new consultant introduction script, how to introduce your business in the gems under files. The other thing you want to remember when booking parties is that the way you look and the way you act is super important for uh, people to book with you. You know, if you are always walking around with what I like to call resting bitch face, ha ha ha, which I totally have when I'm not cognizant of it, people are going to think you're grumpy, they're not going to be excited to meet you. So it's super important that you're always happy, that you're always, always excited about this business. The other thing you want to remember that your image is everything. So when I'm out and I talk about my business, I'm always dressed nice. I always like to think sexy realtor and that is super important to remember at shows as well. Now, when I'm out and about, I will wear jeans, maybe flats, um, maybe some Pure Romance jewelry or one of our awesome Pure Romance t-shirts. That's always a great conversation starter when you're out and about, all right? So make sure that you are always dressed for success, always have your hair done and your makeup on when you're out talking about your business. Remember, we sell sex, ladies, and you should look sexy and feel confident. The other thing I wanna share with you is that you need to get out from behind the computer. A lot of you, especially in your 20s, um, do sit behind Facebook. You do use text messaging a lot. It's really important, as I said earlier, to get out there to build relationships and talk to people. If you have not already tried something like meetup.com, which we're going to discuss a little bit later, it's a great way to get out there and get some bookings. All right, ladies, on to the next slide. So today we are going to talk about 20 tips for creating bookings in your business. So the first thing you want to do is have an open date card. Now, an open date card, again, is un under files in the gems and is also on the COO and what you're going to do is you are going to fill out the next available dates that you want to work. Calendar control is so important in this business and if you are not taking the time to figure out when you want to work or when you can work, um, your calendar is quickly going to be controlled by your hostesses and you're going to get frustrated because you're missing out on fun things and fall events and things that you want to be doing um, in your personal life. So it's so important that you use open date card. Now I'd also like to give you a hot tip and that is when you're filling out your open date card, actually put your furthest dates away at the top of the open date card and your closest dates at the bottom because here's why. Every client is going to go right to the bottom of the list because they're going to assume that's the furthest date away and they're going to want to book it and it actually helps you push bookings closer to the current date than further out because studies show that the longer a party is on your calendar the more likely it is going to cancel so it's so important that you get that booking sooner than later all right now we talked about 50 guests in five minutes um, but there is also 100 people to help me start my business on the COO so that is a really good way to um, 
get a list together, what we call our sphere of influence, and these are the people that you should be contacting about your business. When I was a realtor, we actually had to do this right away, right when you started. It was required. It wasn't even optional. We had to come up with a list of friends, family members, and people we knew, names and addresses, and supply them to our manager. Scary. And then we had to call them in front of her, which was even more scary. So you don't have to go that far with peer romance, but you do want to get on the phone, and you do want to introduce your business to everyone. We are sexual health and wellness advisors. We help women in the bedroom. We help them feel confident and sexy, and you should be loud and proud about what you do. Now, my third tip is to remember that five is alive, okay? So five parties on your books in the next five weeks is going to make sure your business is bumping. It is going to make sure that even if you have a cancellation, you still have other things on your books and you are excited to keep booking. Then you want to make sure that you're trying to book two to three parties from every party because your business is shrinking if you are not doing that. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. All right, now the other thing you want to think about in booking parties is if your everyday contacts know what you do. You guys would be shocked how many women I meet in public that I say, oh, you know, I work for Pure Romance, and oh my God, I saw we had a mutual friend, and my mutual friend is Jane, and you know, they're like, Jane works for you? Jane does Pure Romance too? I didn't even know that Jane does Pure Romance. Um, and that means you're being an undercover agent, and you know that client is fair game, because if I've talked to her and she's interested, I'm going to grab her. So it's so important that you are not being an undercover agent, that you're getting out and letting everyone know what you do for a living and being loud and proud about your business. You know, we are not um, street walkers. We are not strippers. You know, no, no offense to any of those type of people in the world, but we are actually providing a service to women that is desperately needed. You know, in today's day and age, even in health education classes today in high schools, it is more geared towards, um, you know, what to do when you're pregnant, what to do if God forbid you get pregnant and how to put a condom on. There's absolutely no information out there available to women about her clitoris, about her uterus, about any of that stuff. So it's so important that we are providing women that information. So you need to be thinking about that. You know, yes, we do fun parties and yes, we sell toys, but we really provide a service and we help women on a regular basis. So always keep that in the back of your mind when thinking about the way to talk about your business. Now, a really fun way to get parties this time of year, our fifth tip is goodie bags. Goodie bags are an amazing opportunity to get bookings, especially with Halloween here. So for example, every Halloween, I put together really cute goodie bags. Now, I get little pumpkin or little... Um, witch or cobweb looking bags, you go ahead and put the following items in there. So a business card. And I actually put my business cards on magnets. So you can buy these sticky magnets at Staples and go ahead and put your business card right on there and put that in the goodie bag along with a sample of whipped or just like me or anything like that. You also want to create a coupon with a call to action, um, and I make those out on business cards, again, that I purchased from Staples, and they basically say, you know, book a party with me by November 30th and get $100 in free stuff or something like that. So a call to action or 30% off your order when you order by November 12th. So have a call to action coupon, a pen, of course, some candy, um, and uh, your contact information, which should be on your business card, but if for some reason you don't have them, make sure you you put something in there. And I also put labels on my free samples so that way they have it in two places. So goodie bags are a great way to get your um, name out there and you with a holiday just around the corner, um, it is a great time to say, hey girl, looks like you could use a treat, not a trick this Halloween. Here is my goodie bag. My name is Jane. I'm with Pure Romance. Um, here, you know, Give me a call if you need anything. I'd love to do business with you. Um, in other times of the year, Christmas, obviously, super easy. You can use little stockings. New Year, you can get little fun champagne-colored bags. Summer, firework stuff. So there's all different themes you can do all year long. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you could even put a sticky note on your goodie bags. And when you start a conversation and build a relationship with someone, um, you could say, "Hey, you know, it's been so awesome talking to you. Here's a free sample um, from my business." And if you just take a second and go ahead and write down your name and number right here on this yellow sticky note. You'll be shocked how many times women will do that. Um, and then you've captured her information so that you can actually follow up with her. So goodie bags are a fabulous way to get bookings. All right. The sixth way to earn business in the, in the new year in your new business is to host your own party. If you've not had a coming out party yet, now is the time to do so. If you've already had a coming out party, do it again. I'm going to tell you that we have some fabulous new products and gift sets coming out in November, and you guys want to hop on those because they are limited time only. They include flirt perfume with a flirt body lotion and body wash and some other really cool stuff. 
So it's really important that you grab some of that new stuff, throw a party again, and let your clients see those new items. All right? Number seven, if you've been in business or you've already done a party or a coming out party, a great way to get more bookings is to do client care calls. Remember that they are your friend. They have built, uh, picked you to do business with, and you want to follow up with them and just make sure they're enjoying their products and see if they have any questions, okay? So client care calls are really important in your business. It's important that you're reaching out to your clients at least once a month, either via a newsletter, um, a text message, or a um, message on Facebook, but that first contact should be a phone call. So definitely be following up with people. You'll be surprised how many women do want to book a party when you just say, hey, you know, it's been awesome talking to you. And by the way, I have a special for November, $50 in free products. Do you want to book a party? Does a Thursday or Friday work better for you? So that's a great way to get some bookings. All right. Now, the other thing, the eighth way to get bookings is to do emails and newsletters. And I like to call those booking emails. Now, you should only do booking emails once a quarter. All your other newsletters and emails should be providing information and providing a service. And if you haven't done so already, go to your personal website and click, uh, I believe the button is called... Um, learning a learning tab on your own personal website and there are great articles there about um, you know what foods are aphrodisiacs how to introduce sex toys in the bedroom um, what to do if your sex drive is low and what are the secret killers of sex drive so these are great articles that you can copy and paste right into your newsletter and send those off to your clients so those are the things you want to be doing throughout the quarter, but that, you know, end of the quarter or beginning of the quarter, you should be asking for a booking. So that is a booking email. It is strictly, this is my special. This is what I'm offering. These are the hot dates. But again, you don't want to do that every month because you're going to be bombarding people and then they're going to unsubscribe. So you want to make sure that you're providing relevant information about our services and what we provide and they're excited to open it because if it's constantly about booking or recruiting, they're never going to open it and they're going to unsubscribe and then you're going to have hurt feelings. Okay. The next way to get bookings is to ask for referrals. So, you know, girls ask someone, if you say, hey, you no, know, did you want to book a party tonight? And she's like, no, I don't want to book a party. Well, who are your three funniest friends? Who are three women that you know that would be absolutely awesome um, if they booked a party with me that you think would totally enjoy this product? And if one of them books, I will give you a free gift. And again, your gift doesn't have to be expensive. It can be a foil pack or a discontinued item. The other thing I recommend is keeping track of those sales underneath the sales section of the COO under orders because you can get stuff right now like Twitter for six stars and three cents or something. And those are great giveaways that people absolutely love. So stock up on that stuff. Um, but again, when you get those referrals and if you book one, be honest, keep your word, send that woman a prize for her friend booking or better yet, make her come to the party and give it in front of everyone. And that will encourage other women to give you referrals. Now, the 10th way to get bookings is to hit up your local college. Um, the student unions, the Greek life are great ways to get shows. I actually had um, a sorority at UConn before they were forced to close, but those girls actually still do parties with me every year, even though they're not a sorority anymore. Um, and I got that by writing a letter to the president of the sorority, um, whatever the official word is called, I don't know, but you can find that information online by Googling the college and the different sororities. And just by keep hitting them with a letter like once a month and eventually she booked which was awesome there are about 40 women there it was about a two thousand dollar show and I, I recruited three girls out of it so it's totally worth it it is a little bit of legwork um, but you definitely want to hit it up, hit them up and if they are they say sorry we're already using a peer romance consultant let it go don't step on your sister's toes you're like great if anything changes give me a call but there are plenty of colleges this is New England there are colleges like you can throw a rock and hit a college around here whether it's a community college or an undergrad college, or a four-year college, or, or, or you know, a university, there's tons. So definitely hit those up. There's enough business to go around. Better yet, you could even, you know, if you're young enough, you know, go down to the student union and have some coffee and pass out some flyers, all right? I started up my business at a college when I was new, and it's totally a great way to start your business. All right. Another way to get business as a new consultant is to explore your personal hobbies. And what I mean by that is if you enjoy knitting like I do or video games or any of those uh, kinds of projects where it's really fun to do them even more with people around, you want to go ahead to meetup.com. Um, I also love wine. There's meetups for wine. So www.meetup.com. It is not a dating site. It is a hobby site. So basically you go ahead and you put in all of your favorite things that you enjoy doing 
thing. And then you would um, actually go ahead and you know, go to the meetups, get to know people, and then you would kind of introduce your business. You don't want to ambush anyone um, and be like, hey, I'm with Pure Romance, book a party, because then they're never going to work with you again. So the whole point of meetup is to go in, enjoy your hobby so that you keep going to this meetup every week or once a month, whatever it is, but building the relationship with that woman that you met or two or three women that you met so that they know and trust you and they want to do business with you. Ladies, we are in the business of building relationships. And if we are not doing it on a regular basis, it's, we're not going to have a business and our business is dead in the water without bookings. So get out there, meet some people, get out from behind your computer, meet some people in real life, you know, have some wine, get over it. You're going to do great. All right. So what I'm going to do is just take a quick second here and make sure that I'm still sharing my screen with you guys, that it has not shut off on us in every way, in any way. I think I am. Looks good. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and keep moving. All right. So another way we already talked about is the client monthly newsletter. And we already talked about gives, you know, giving them information instead of just asking for recruiting and bookings. So I've already discussed that. That's number 12. Number 13 is booking games. You want to be playing a booking game at every party. You cannot do parties without playing a booking game. Uh, you know, I do have been in this business for 12 years and I still do booking games. Uh, and the truth is once you've been in business for 12 years and you're funny enough, people are going to book with you anyway, but you want to play a booking game at every show. They are not optional. They are required. If you are not familiar with any booking games, you can head on over to the COO and click booking games or games to play and bone up on them. There's lots of them there. There's pass or play. There's the lay game. There's the dice game. There's all different types of games. Now, we had a leader meeting this morning, and one of the things that we discussed that is that even though you play booking games, sometimes you're not going to get any bookings. So it's super important to be asking every single person in the ordering room, did you want to book a party, even if they didn't play the game. Nicole Simone was sharing that she did that the other day. You know, she played a booking game, no one booked, but then she asked every person in the ordering room and she ended up getting two bookings out of it. So it's super important that you're still asking if they want to book, even if they don't play the game. Some girls don't want to book a party because they're sitting next to a girl that they don't want to invite. It's hysterical. It happens, but it's true. So make sure you're asking in, in the order room every time. And if you're really bad about it, put up a sign that says, if I forget to ask you to book a party, your shipping is free tonight. Because the first time that happens, you will make sure you are asking every single person. It will hold you accountable. So definitely do that. All right, the other thing you want to remember is to keep your hostess program simple. Ladies, if you are not aware of what the corporate hostess program is, you are required to give 10% of the total party sales and free product to your hostesses. So if she has a $500 party, that means she's getting $50 in free stuff. She has a $650 party, she's getting $65 in free stuff. You have to do that for any party over $200, and that hostess credit is on the subtotal, not the total with tax and shipping. So be aware aware of that. Now, the reason why you want to keep your hostess program simple is that you need to know how to be able to explain it to someone and why she should be booking a party with you. When you complicate it and you're like, hey, you get this, you know, you get 10% of the total party sales and you get um, five other things, uh, you know, people are not going to book with you. It's too confusing. So keep it simple, as simple as possible, and you're going to find your bookings go up. All right. Now, Let's talk about using Facebook for your business and how to get bookings. Now, number one, you cannot be an undercover agent on Facebook. You have to put in your business um, that you work at Pure Romance by you. You have to let people know that you're doing it. Um, you have to use our Facebook covers occasionally. You'll change your Facebook cover up to be a Pure Romance one. Um, but the most important thing to remember is that for every five to seven personal posts. So for instance, if you go look at my Facebook, I talked about going out and having pizza with my daughter the other night. There's a cutie patootie picture of my daughter there. I went out with my husband on a trail run. So right now I'm at three personal posts. So at every five to seven posts should be one business post. So again, a lot of new girls, you guys get really excited to talk about your business and every single post is about your business. Well, guess what? People are blocking you. They're taking you out of the newsfeed. They're not interested. So you want to make sure that you're only doing a business post for every, you know, one business post for every five to seven personal posts because people friended you because they want to know if you're a real person, they want to know what you're doing, they want to see where you're traveling, they want to get to know you as a person, and if all your posts are about business, they are not going to continue to follow you, and worse, they're going to unfriend you. 
So definitely do that. I learned that the hard way when I was new. I had a really good male friend of mine unfriend me, and I was really upset. I was like, Rick, what is wrong with you? Why did you unfriend me? And he was like, Jenny, I just didn't want to hear about your business anymore because no one gave me that advice when I was new, and I was going crazy. I was like posting tons of stuff, and you just can't do that. So you know, thankfully Rick is my friend again because he's my friend in real life. But, um, you know, I learned that lesson the hard way. So um, just remember that. And the other thing I want to tell you is that you are now a business owner. Um, you cannot be discussing abortion. You cannot be discussing racial relations, gun laws, politics. You cannot be swearing. You cannot be negative. You cannot be a Debbie Downer because people are watching you. And I promise you that if you say one thing that they don't agree with, let's say, for example, that you support gun rights and you put a post up about that, she doesn't and she's going to cancel her party. So it's so important that you realize that you are now a public figure and that you act in kind as a public figure. If you are terrible about that or you just got your panties in a bunch over me saying that, go ahead and take a minute and make lists on your Facebook page. There is a little feature that you could say pure romance clients, put everybody in pure romance clients, friends and family, put everybody on that list. And when you do a post about those controversial topics, you go ahead and post it just to your friends and family and not to your pure romance clients, okay? Because again, you are a public figure. You have to be very careful what you say out there. And you don't want to be losing your bookings, especially when you're new over trivial stuff, all right? All right, so here are just some examples of a uh, personal post and a um, business post by the lovely Heather Wilson Pillow, who is a top consultant in pure romance. If you do not know who she is, you should absolutely follow her. She's fabulous. So go ahead and take a minute and read those. All right, next up is an example of Heather's newsletter. All right. So you guys can take a minute and read that, or you can pause the video right now and just take a quick look. But these are some examples of a newsletter that she did last year. Now, if you are new, you get Media Center free for 60 days. So you can go on ahead into the Pure Romance COO and click um, Advertising um, Marketing and then see uh, Media Center. And you can create beautiful newsletters right at home for free for your first 60 days. Okay, so make sure you're using that. It's a lot... Um, more professional looking even, even than this is, all right? And then here is an example of a booking um, email or a referral email. So this is ex a perfect example of just the straight up booking or referral email that we were discussing. So go ahead and look at that. All right, so let's keep going. All right, ladies, another way to get parties is to rebook past hostesses. Now, even if you've been in business for just a month or two or even three, you have hostesses already, maybe, and go ahead and rebook them. Don't be afraid. You know, the cool thing about Pure Romance is that we offer a new catalog uh, three times a year, so it's a wonderful opportunity to rebook past hostesses, and you will find that they love you and they will rebook with you, and you could just do a new product-only um, party. You don't have to do the whole... Um, entire thing. So that's a great one. A number 17, a great way to book parties is hit up local happy hours. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and go to the bar and have cocktails and talk to everyone. I don't know about you girls, but once I have a couple drinks, I am everybody's best friend. So it's so important that you hit up the local happy hours and get talking about your business. And that's a great time to have those goodie bags with you. A number, number 18 is personally my favorite way to get bookings as a new person. When I was new, I was broke as a joke, but I scraped up money and I did vendor events my first two months in business. And I am so thankful that I did. I have those events to this day. And whenever my party calendar seems to be running low, one comes along and pumps me right back up, gets me rocking and rolling and um, absolutely love it. So this is an opportunity for you to get out there, set up a booth, and book parties. You know, your, your main objective at vendor events is to book shows. And if you have not followed me on YouTube yet, our team YouTube uh, page is The Gems Pure Romance Jenny Harrison. Again it's, again, it's The Gems with a J, The Gems Pure Romance Jenny Harrison. Go under playlists and you'll see I have a short video there about vendor events and how to do them successfully. I was sick when I recorded it, so excuse my uh, cr my cranky uh, face and tone while I'm talking, but um, I needed to get that information out to you and it is still there. All right? Okay, number 19, 19, 19th way to get booking is to bribe people. Ladies, chase the Benjamins, not the pennies. Okay, what do I mean by this? 
All right, so let's say you are looking for bookings and you do have a party on your books. Well, I challenge you at that party to give away an unbelievable offer. Give away a Do Not Disturb, for example. A Do Not Disturb is a $79 toy. It costs you roughly $42. So you want to give away three of them. So you want to get three bookings and you are not going to give that toy to the woman at that particular time. You're going to give it to her at her show when she actually has the party. Now, I always put a requirement on it like you you have to have $500 in party sales and you're going to get the free do not disturb okay now the item that you are giving away it better be a killer demo you better better have the best demo ever for the item to get people excited about it so that they want to book a party with you to um, get that free item a love touch is another one it's a $69 retail costs you again about high 30s for it and if you wait for a sale day it's an even better opportunity so give those away. Now, once you get those three bookings, you get them on the books, you do the show, they have a $500 party. You made approximately $230 and it costs you roughly 30 to give that item away. So you're still up 200 bucks. And that's what I'm saying when I say chase the Benjamins, not the pennies. Um, you guys don't get caught up in giving stuff away. It's a tax write-off. Um, and in the long run, you're going to make more money by giving away a high ticket item than you are by giving away a foil pack and no one's holding your party. Now, I'm not saying you have to do that every show, but it's a great way to jumpstart your business when you're new. All right, ladies, the 20th way to get bookings is to party swap with another party plan. So reach out to your local um, sticker nail consultant, Jamberry. Uh, reach out to your local 31 consultant. Reach out to your local Pamper Chef consultant or find a friend that's doing that and swap her and say, hey girl, I'll do a Pamper Chef party for you if you do a pure romance party for me under the caveat that you're not going to try to recruit each other because you want to be you know, respectful of her business and you want her to be respectful of yours. Um, and go ahead and swap parties and, you know, do it, do that. That's a great way to help another consultant out, especially with the holidays coming. You can get a lot of your Christmas gifts for free by party swapping with other party plans. But I always like to tell my consultants that I'm working with, look, I will respect you. I will not try to recruit anyone while I'm there as long as you extend me the same courtesy. And girls, it's a great way to get all those Christmas gifts for free and also build your business. All right. So ladies, what you have to remember is all it takes is one good party for your business to take off. So these are lots of different ways to get shows, lots of different ways to be successful in this business. And remember, for every good party, there is going to be a bad party. So don't get frustrated. Don't give up. Be excited. And, you know, I truly believe that there is no such thing as a bad party. Whether you have four or five guests, I had one the other night, five guests, best group of women I've had in a long time. So sweet, so fun, so interactive. Um, there is no such thing as a bad party. You know, we get spoiled in this business. You know, some of us, we have a thousand dollar show and, you know, we make five, six hundred dollars and we go out and we have a 250 show and we're like, oh my God, that stinks, right? But the reality is you still made a hundred dollars. And the truth is, there are some of you right now that are working a job that it would take you eight hours to make a hundred dollars okay or you'd have to hustle bartending or doing something like that to make that kind of cash and you can make that kind of cash in three hours in pure romance so remember every party is a good party but that one really good party where you nail everything you get that booking game down you get that recruiting speech down is going to be the one that launches your business so make sure you're practicing make sure you're learning make sure you're doing you everything you possibly can to be amazing in pure romance all right so here are some of the games that I talked about previously. And again, these are available to you on the COO. Um, so these are great games to help your get your business rocking and rolling at the show. These are games you would play at the party. All right. And we already kind of talked about this. The number one reason why people don't book a party is because no one ever asked her. We have actually polled tons of clients in Pure Romance and we have asked them, why didn't you book a party with Jenny Harrison? And the number one reason for all consultants is that no one asked. So again, hold yourself accountable, put some kind of sign up in the ordering room and remember to ask them every single time. And this is a great way on how to ask. And it is when you're in the ordering room and when do you want to shop with me for free? This is how you would ask. So when do you want to shop with me for free? You don't want to say booking because sometimes that sounds too official and people get scared like, oh, well, when do I book a party? Um, you because it sounds like an appointment almost, you want to keep it fun. So we found that this is the best way to ask someone to do a show. When do you want to shop with me for free? And then here is a great example of a post you guys can use on Facebook 
oh my God, my team just challenged me to book three parties in 30 minutes. I need your help. Hook me up and I'll hook you up. Who do you know that wants a guaranteed $100 shopping spree with me? So go ahead and take a picture of that. And then you can post it later on your Facebook. And then I'll know if you actually listen to this or not. All right, ladies, so that's it. I want to thank you so much for your time today. I hope that you enjoyed the um, booking, 20 Ways to Get Bookings. And I am going to go ahead and uh, wrap up this meeting. Thank you so much. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to go ahead and post right here in the video thread. Um, any questions you may have about the information I just went over. I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys loved it. I hope it gave you some new and fresh ideas on how to get bookings for your new business. Have a great day, ladies. Thank you.